Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Alchemy with Zero Phase, I'm Eric. And uh, as you can see on my screen, you see three images, and uh, you've probably um, heard about an extension called Roop. We're going to go in and uh, discuss this and um, really discuss the details. Uh, it should be a pretty short video, this is an easy extension to use. Uh, and the results can vary, but I think if you understand a few basic concepts, you'll get better results uh, when you do use it. So over here is the original image. Uh, as you can see, kind of a standard, you know, you get a uh, handsome man and a handsome knight, whatever. And then by introducing a uh, second image through Roop, it's able to identify the face, grab those characteristics, and then introduce those characteristics onto the face in the existing image. I think it does a fantastic job. This really does, in a way, kind of supersede uh, training your own models on faces, which I did. It takes forever. It's very hit and miss. The results can be <laughs> interesting. This is almost seamless. Uh, it does just an, a fantastic job with it. And uh, we're going to go through that and show you really quick how to do it. Um, let's get rid of all this. We're going to reset this. And we're going to set up to do... Um, let's generate something realistic first. Uh, just one face. So let's, let's do... Uh, I don't know, let's do an old man, but I want to make it sure it's super photorealistic. Um, so let's do a photo of an old grungy man. Okay, got our camera information, emphasize aged man. We're going to copy that, head over here, drop that in here. We're not going to change any of the other things. We're going to keep it square. Uh, we are going to be on... Uh, where's a dreamlike photo reel? Make sure we got our negative in there. Uh, this model does not require a VAE, so we're just going to put that back on automatic. And let's get a couple different Im images here so we know uh, what we got. We're also going to enable a detailer really quick and hit generate. I think this face right here is going to do really well. It's got some character to it. Actually, this one's got more character to it, but I think both of them are going to be pretty good. I, I like both of them. Maybe we'll try both of them. Just give it a second to finish up. It'll run through the A detailer. Uh, fixing any facial issues shouldn't take too long on that. Moves pretty quick. I love A detailer. Been meaning to do this video for a while now. Um, just haven't really touched on it. Been busy with a lot of other things. Uh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. An interesting kind of like goatee beard thing going on there. I like this guy better though. Let's go ahead and run with this guy here. His face, he's closer to the camera. His facial features are a lot more defined. Um, not saying this other one isn't. I just I think the hat's going to cause problems shadowing. We got some brightness on here. Don't think that's going to affect it too much. So uh, what we're going to do now is come down here. We're going to leave eat a detailer on. We're going to go down into Roop, drop that image down in there. And we're going to enable it. We don't have to do anything else here unless we're going to be doing some upscaling, which I'll show you that process too. We're going to take this in and um, run the image through the upscaler as well. Um, we can do it well, we can do this here. I think we can do this even after the fact. Uh, so let's uh, let's just do the upscaler. Let's just go ahead and run that anyway and uh, go ahead and run this and see how it does. I think we're going to reduce this down to this. We're going to change the prompt as well. Uh, I want to put something else in, but I want his face on it. So I want something a little more fantastic. So we're going to do, um, uh, we'll use the word fantastic. Fantastic uh, sci-fi portrait of an epic soldier 
with an intense look on his face. It's going to be a short prompt. We'll just run with that. We should have everything set up so we don't have to mess with anything. So we've enabled this, drop the image in here, set the upscaler, which I think is optional. We're not using restore phase. We are using a detailer. We want it to fix whatever issues might come up. Uh, shouldn't be much. And then we'll hit generate. We are still using the dreamlike photo reel. We may switch that over though, but I think it should do a pretty good job with this. Uh, it's not bad. Very realistic looking. Um, let's see how it does when it transfers the face over. Just as a little side note, um, keep in mind that when you're doing this, if you try to transfer a realistic face into an, uh, like let's say you're generating an anime image or a cartoon or something that's more digitally illustrated and you're trying to use a realistic face, uh, expect the results to be uh, varied. Um, if you're going from realistic to straight cartoon, it's going to struggle. Uh, if you go to something that's a little more, uh, got some depth to it, some shadowing, so it has an easier time with that. Okay, so let's take a look at that face. So we got that there. And I think it got the, it definitely carried over the aged look. I remember what the original image looked like. Let's do, let's see, future work what portrays a formidable soldier. Let's try switching models. I want to see what it does on some on another model. I think that's pretty good. We got the look. He's got the kind of the bulbous nose, uh, aged look, got the, uh, the, the sunken cheeks going on there. Yeah, not bad. We'll see what it looks like with a, a model that does more digitally fan, uh, illustrated fantasy stuff. Oh, that's interesting. This should be, this should be good. So the model looks young. Okay, it's going to go through now and do the Roop edition. I don't know if it does the A detailer first or then the Roop. Sometimes that is important. I, I'm assuming it does the Roop after everything else, but oh yeah, look at that. It definitely got his face in there and it looks, it matches the rest of the uh, aesthetic the digital aesthetic of the of the rest of the image. Um, so Roop is really cool. Again, it's super easy. I mean, you just <laughs> you just throw it in here and and uh, throw the image in here and run with it. Um, so you can do this in the upscaler too. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and disable Roop for just a second here. Then we're going to render this image without Roop. Very similar image. We're going to send this over to image to image because we want to upscale it. We're going to do a latent upscale. Oh, it is doing a detailer, so give it a second to finish that up. Okay, not bad. Pretty cool image. Okay, let's send that over to image to image. We are going to grab, we're going to set our negative. We're gonna run down here, open up Roop. We're gonna go find our image real quick here. I guess I got a couple of others we could use, but I wanna go back to the original one. Okay, drop him in there, enable. Leave everything else, uh, oh, no, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I, I, I'm. I'm not super familiar on how the upscaler works on this, if it does it in line first or if you need it while you're doing latent upscaling or not. We're gonna drop this down because we are doing a latent upscale. We only want it to be between like 0.3 and 0.4. I think for what we're gonna do, we're okay doing a little higher, 0.38. Um, I don't know if we're gonna need this, but I'm gonna enable it anyway. I'm gonna drop the steps down to 20. We are going to change this to SDE cross. And 
leave everything else the same, I think. Got that face. Now you can see what the face looks like now. Let's go ahead and render that out. And again, probably leave the hairdo the same. It's going to do the root, and it'll do the A detail on the face. May take a little bit longer. We are doing a, oh, you know what we didn't do? It didn't take very long at all. As you can see, it did it. Um, but we forgot to actually upscale. So we're going to just come over here. We're going to lock this in at 1 to 1, drag this up. Uh, I think we can probably do 1536 by 1536 without any problems. Let's see what happens. It seems like in the latest version of Automatic 11.11, I've been getting more out of memory error messages uh, and I'll have to kill the program get back into it and then it works but it looks like it's working fine for us right now he's a beefy looking dude isn't he man he tears stuff apart should take a little bit longer to do it this time I like the intricacy on the armor that's pretty cool All right, I paused it because I thought it might take a little longer, and it did take a little bit longer. And as you can see, it definitely got the aesthetics in the face. That's really cool how uh, it does that, adds those details in, the details of the skin and everything. Very cool. Close that out. So as you can see, that's pretty easy to do an upscale on. So all we did, we use the same model didn't have to change that same uh, prompt same negative prompt um, only thing we did was upscale do the latent upscale add the image into root down here and it uh, brought the image over even from uh, the original image which we didn't do root on uh, it puts it in so this is something that you can grab the image you want and once you're ready to upscale go ahead and just use root on it at that point without using it in the original text to image so uh, that works out really well. So I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. Uh, like and uh, like the video, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If there's any other uh, um, ideas, suggestions, or videos you'd like to see, let me know. And uh, uh, something like this is pretty easy. Um, and I uh, really enjoy the community and all the feedback they've been giving. Uh, great to hear from all of you. Uh, we'll talk to you later.